Hi my friends, I am back. It's Sunday again and I have a new story. It's called Emily and the Kindness Bracelet. Are you ready? Get comfortable and just listen the story. Emily and the Kindness Bracelet. One morning, I woke up and found a mysterious bag on the table next to my bed. What could be inside, I thought. A new toy, a new game, a new treasure. I ran downstairs to ask my mom and dad. It's a special gift for you, Emily, mom said. I carefully untied the string and opened the bag. Inside was a beautiful bracelet. Thank you, I love it, I said. May I wear it to school today? Yes, Dad said, for now. What do you mean for now? I want to wear it forever, I said. Mom smiled. Well, this is no ordinary bracelet. It's kindness bracelet and it's magical. But for the magic to work, you have to follow three secret rules. Number one, you cannot tell anyone about your new bracelet and it's magic. Number two, you can only keep this bracelet for a short time but don't worry, the magic will stay with you. Number three, when you see someone doing something kind, give him or her the bracelet and explain the rules. Then and only then can you tell why it's magical. I look down at my bracelet. Why can I tell anyone about it? Because Dad said, when you give the bracelet to someone, it's because he or she did something kind. Through kindness comes from the heart. He or she cannot know that there will be a reward. This, is, this was going to be hard. I wanted to keep my new bracelet so badly. It was the most beautiful thing I had ever owned. I could not imagine ever giving it away. That morning, I planned my entire outfit around my new bracelet. Just as I finished getting dressed, my friend Molly came over to walk to school. I like your new bracelet, Molly said. What is it for? I smiled, remembering the first rule. I can tell you, not yet. As we walked into school, a boy tripped and fell. His books and lunchbox scattered everywhere. Oh no, Molly cried. She ran over to help. That was a kind thing to do, I thought. I looked down on my bracelet and remembered the second rule. I could not keep the bracelet. I had to pass it on. Well, this just didn't seem fair. I had not worn my bracelet for even a day, but I remember that its magic will stay with me. I walked over to Molly. I have something special for you, I said. I'm giving it to you because you did something kind. Molly smiled so big that it made my heart warm and happy. Could this be the magic that will stay with me? I explained the secret rules and Molly promised she would, she would follow them. Later that day, I noticed Molly wasn't wearing the bracelet. Who could be wearing it? What kind things had been happening? 
After seeing Molly without the bracelet, I could not concentrate. In math, I could not. I counted all my numbers backwards. In reading group, I held my book upside down. In art, I painted right off the page. I walk from I walk home from school feeling all mixed up. What's wrong, Emily? Mom asked. She handed me a chocolate chip cookie. Well, I followed the kindness bracelet rules all day and it felt great to give it away, but I also feel sad because it was my favorite bracelet and now it's gone forever. I would not say that, Mom said. Why not? I look up and saw my mom wearing the bracelet. How did you get that? I cry. She then told me the whole story of how she got the bracelet. Sally passed it to her teacher who helped a student get the book from the top shelf. The teacher passed it to a boy who picked up a piece of trash and put it in the garage. The boy passed it to a girl who taught her friends to jump rope. The girl passed it to a friend who shared her crayons. The friend passed it to the mailman who held the gate open. The mailman passed it to someone who shared homemade chocolate chip cookies with him. Wow, I said, people sure did lots of kind things today. Yes, and now I'm passing the bracelet back to you because you shared your bracelet even thought it was hard to let it go. That was a very kind thing to do. But remember, this bracelet was, has three secret rules you have to follow. Oh, I know, I said smiling, and I can't wait to pass it on. The end, this is the story. This is my kindness bracelet. Now I encourage you to go find your kindness bracelet and pass it on to someone else.